gifts. And after those funeral services, thousands, they came out to show their support for Deputy Ishmael, his family, and really the entire law enforcement community. Fox 40's Doug Johnson was able to talk with some of the people along that procession route today. He joins us live in the studio tonight uh, with why so many people wanted to pay their respects this morning. Doug. Eric and Nikki, every freeway along the overpass along Highway 50 was packed for a good hour before and during the procession and giving Deputy Ishmael the goodbye they say he deserves. My limited experience, uh, truckers. Truckers are the big honkers. Frank Ramish was one of the first people to stand along this bicycle overpass on Highway 50 near Folsom Boulevard, hanging this blue line flag. You get to be a certain age and you realize there's there's important stuff and there's not important stuff. And I just felt this is important. Ramish watched the funeral services for El Dorado County Deputy Brian Ishmael on his phone. He says he really admired his work ethic. Knowing how we can change under stress, evidently he was the same guy, whether he was answering a call or brewing a pot of coffee at the station. And if I was in trouble, I would want his calm demeanor helping me. They need it. They need our support. They need to know that people are here backing them. Likewise, Andrew and Janie Lippert wanted to come out not only to pay their respects, but to teach their kids how much a police officer can sacrifice protecting their community. My three-year-old Janella here, she might, you know, she'll probably remember this forever and just kind of builds a good foundation in our opinion. And the kids need to see it. They need to understand that this is part of being an American. After the funeral, a convoy of police cars from dozens of agencies left Roseville heading south down Hazel Avenue. And from Nimbus through Prairie City Road on up to Shingle Springs, hundreds came out to overpasses along Highway 50. <laughs> All remaining quiet as Deputy Ishmael's body passed on his way to his hometown of Placerville for burial. But Ramish says the displays are not just for Deputy Ishmael and his family, but for all the men and women who wear a uniform. I'd want them protecting me and my family. And if, if this is the least I could do, I'll do it. He did more than most. Now they did shut down Highway 50 as the procession passed. And what's interesting is that not only did the freeway overpasses fill up with people, but so too did people pulling over on the side of the road. And as the hearse passed by, traffic going the other way on Highway 50 also pulled over and stopped to pay respect. In our studio tonight, Doug Johnson, Fox 40 News. Oh, really amazing to see, Doug. Thanks so much.